So what are the differences between cone beam CT and a CT? Which has better signal noise ratio, MTF, and resolution? Can you use a cone beam CT for planning? And why would you maybe want to do that? How long does each take? And what do you consider about the doses? So the first thing, cone beam CT and CT. Let's start with the cone beam CT. So these, based on the name, uses a cone-shaped x-ray beam, whereas an actual CT uses a fan beam, specifically those diagnostic CTs. Now, a normal CT, the output, it has a very high output, it has a rotating anode x-ray tube, whereas the cone beam CT, it has a much lower powered fluoroscopy tube than the CT fan beams. The detectors are in an arc as it rotates around the patient, whereas the cone beam CT uses solid state detectors for their, for their cone beam, like on your true beam or whatever linear accelerator you may be using. So, now jumping into resolution, signal noise ratio, MTF and resolution. So the CT does have a higher contrast resolution. As cone beams really don't. You can't see soft tissues very well. You also, the signal noise ratio on CTs, the resolution for CTs, MTF, for CTs are all better. So if you really want to look at images, use them for differentiation of tissues, for target delineation, diagnostic CTs are the way you want to go, but cone beam CTs are really good for matching patients once they are on the treatment table and preparing them for treatment. Which leads to the next question, can you use them for planning and why might you want to? So in emergency cases, cone beam CTs can in fact be used for planning and not just emergency cases, typically in rural areas that's how they're used, but when you want to do adaptive radiotherapy, Cone beam CTs are a big aspect of that. And so cone beam CTs are getting better image-wise. They're faster to take. Patient is already on the table. Now, this is a loaded question because if you think about it, you need a CT number to electron density calibration curve. Well, you have that for your CT, but for your cone beam CT, you need to ensure that you have one specifically for it. Now, my clinic... We only use these in emergency cases. We don't have a good adaptive program. If we want to change a plan, we take them to the CT and do the entire process again, rather than just doing a quick scan and making minor changes. But it you can use this for planning, and that's one of the reasons. Adaptive, emergencies, those are some of the reasons why you might want to. So now how long does each of these take? So disregarding the actual setup, a CT is going to take somewhere in the minutes range. And the cone beam CT is going to take around 30 seconds. So it's good to know general ideas of timing for these things. It shows that you have been in the CT simulation room. You have seen a simulation. And some of these can be tricky just you don't really think about it. And if someone asks you directly, how long does a CT take, it, it could throw you off. So be sure, not just in this question, but everything in your clinic, take a good step back and in general, look at the entire process and don't get wrapped too much into the details until you're ready to get there. And then finally, let's talk about dose. And this is certainly a very important one. So we're gonna break it down between cone beam CT and CT. So cone beams, we are looking around uh, 25 milligrams. And this could be around 20. The CTDI for a Linac, uh, I have a true beam. We're looking at about 20 there. Now for a CT, we're looking at around 20 milligray as well. 
and then the CTDI for our actual CT differs, and so would the cone beam CT. So we're looking at 70 milligray for the head and about 20 milligray for the body. And a good question to ask, I won't cover it here, but why are these different? Why is the head have a higher CTDI than the body? I'll let you do that for some research. It's a good concept to understand and know, something they could definitely ask. If you have any questions about cone beam CTs or CTs in general, please comment below. I'll happily help any way I can. Good luck studying and good luck on your exam.